Welcome to Handmade by Hallie. Here is my next video. For this project, we are going to need these items. I have some bows with a group of three ornaments that I've put together for a previous event. We're going to use up all of those. We're going to use these red and white candies and these red and green candies from Hobby Lobby these little gingerbread trees. I end up not using these picks. We are going to use this bow that I have pre-made. And of course the star of the show is going to be this gingerbread girl holding this um, rolling pin with some ornaments and we're putting it on an evergreen base. We're also going to put in some large red ornaments and some large white ornaments. So let's get started. And we're going to figure out where we want to place her. We're going to kind of do this so she looks like she's standing on the base. And then we're going to have to prep her for getting in there. So I'm going to grab some pipe cleaners and I'm going to have to fix her smile. I don't know if you can see in the video, she's supposed to have two little red beads at the top of her little cheeks where she's got her smile and one of those beads came off and I didn't even pay attention. So I'm going to put a dot of glue in each of those spots and then a red sequin. That way they just match what she's got going on, but I don't want the hot glue to melt my sequin, so I'm letting it cool off just a tad. Now we're ready to prep her for getting into our wreath. And I am going to take off this bow that's kind of smashed, and I have some red, uh, really narrow ribbon with some white hearts that will look good, and we'll use this a couple of times. I'm just going to make a little bow, use a red pipe cleaner, and twist that together, dovetail those ends. And then once that's ready, we're just glue that in place. And that's cute and better than the bow that came on her. Now I'm going to take these uh, three green pipe cleaners and I'm going to cut a hole in the bottom of her feet about an inch, inch and a half apart on each foot. Put that pipe cleaner through. Sometimes a needle will help with some needle nose pliers and pinch it and twist it a couple times and I'm going to glue it so it stays in place on both of this, these feet. So I'm just repeating the process for both. Then I'm going to turn her over on the back, <coughs> excuse me, and find the best place. And I think that's kind of down where her hat is scrunched together. We'll repeat that same process we did on the feet. And then we will move on to putting that rolling pin. It's kind of a half rolling pin. And I thought that looked really cute with her. Cut off the hanger, and we're going to kind of repeat the same we did with the green pipe cleaners, but I'm going to use red pipe cleaners this time to attach her hands to holding this pipe cleaner. So cut some holes, put that through, and I'm going to put a little bow there on the end of the rolling pin. This hand doesn't quite reach, but I'm going to do the same thing and attach it to the back side of where she's going to hold it. So I'll turn this over, and there's a piece of ribbon left over. Excuse me. And I get my needle nose pliers through and help pull that pipe cleaner through couple of twists, cut off the access, and a little bit of glue to hold everything. There we go. Now we're going to 
put a big clothespin on that. I'm going to put a little bit of glue on her belly to hold the clothespin. And we're going to make another bow for the other handles. And these are pretty easy little bows, almost like bows you're tying uh, with your tennis shoes and leave the tails long enough to trim and dovetail or just cut at an angle, whichever you choose. I chose to dovetail these. Now she's all ready to go. She's got her bows, she's holding her her, her doodads. So now I'm gonna take the pipe cleaner and go around the first ring of this form and twist those pipe cleaners together. I'll eventually turn it around and cut the excess off and we're going to do the same at the top around I believe it's the second ring on the top part and she's good and secure. We're going to put the bow on and I just give it a little fluffing. That's the nice thing about using wired ribbon is your bows can also always be fluffed and refluffed as often as it you need to. And I'm sure I will go back and fix it over and over again. <clears throat> so we've got it fixed enough. I'm going to put a longer pipe cleaner on the back. I had it short for the event that I attended. So we can put that through and twist the pipe cleaner together to keep that bow in a secure location. All right, now that we have that done, we are going to get out our other pieces. We have the red and white candies. We have the green and red swirlies. And I think I start with the swirlies and position those. And I'm just going to glue those ones in place. Be careful with putting glue on your, your picks and putting it in evergreens. The evergreen seems to stick to and overheat those pine tines. You don't want to stick your finger in those. That'll for sure give you a hot glue gun burn. So I'm just going through and spread these out. Now I will have to get out a couple bigger pieces here that are still uh, um, zip tied together. I had made a tree topper for my door at the event and I'm just going to cut this apart and cut these green pieces off and I do end up using my floral tape. So the way this works is you pull this at an angle and just wrap it around and tear it off. And it's a little bit sticky, so it sticks to itself. And this is a good way to finish your picks. And it kind of holds things together without having to add any glue in there. So I did that on two of those, so they will be easier to put into this wreath. And I don't think I have to do it on this set. So when you're putting your picks in, you want to follow the direction of the greenery. And so on the left hand side, the picks are pointed up and the right hand side of the wreath, those picks are pointing down. So if you notice that it's following, it's a counterclockwise 
the direction. And we kind of evenly place all of these. And then next I'm going to get out my bows with the ornaments. And again, put a piece of pipe cleaner on the back of these so I can actually wire these in. So I have a little bow and I have a red, a white, and a green ornament that are already attached. And I'm just going to wire these in with a half a pipe cleaner and tuck those, any excess pipe cleaner in so you can't see it. Um, I think I did three of these groups on each side. And then I had a couple extra bows without ornaments that I filled spots. Um, I think I did one at the top of her head without the ornaments. So you went over to the other side, but you want to make sure you fill all the way around. But at the top of her head, I don't need the ornaments because her hat is there. So we'll get these wired in and get them spread out. And I'm liking the way this is coming out. Hopefully you're enjoying this video. A good portion of this project comes from Hobby Lobby. I think everything except for the evergreen base is a Walmart. And these are my favorite green bases this year. They are just absolutely beautiful. So again, adding those pipe cleaners, wiring them in will help them stay And then I go in and find one more set here. And then I think an extra bow at the bottom and an extra bow at the top is what I did to help fill in all the spots. So I've got an extra bow there and that she goes right at the top. And then I've got I'm pulling out my extra pieces of ribbon, making sure I've got all my pieces out of my bag that I had. And I'm going to make another small bow and I start with dovetailing the end, trying to make it approximately the size of my other ones. These I just used a pipe cleaner to pull together a green pipe cleaner and that one's going to go right at the bottom. So now that we have those clusters put in, I'm going to put in these red and white candies and these I'm just going to hot glue in place. Again, be careful after you put these in place that you're not sticking your fingers in the hot glue. And we're just spreading these around cutting some more off they're easy to lose on your table once you get working on your project matter of fact I think I still have one laying on the floor underneath my table that I knocked off but that's okay so I'm putting one uh, kind of coming out the top of each bow and then spreading out the other ones. This bow on top of her head behind her, I chose not to put a candy coming out of there. I will place a larger ornament there later. And just continuing again with our pattern, following the way the greenery is going, making it kind of even and spreading them out. Uh, 
Um, there are several stopping points that you could stop at. You could stop um, after you get all of these red and whites in, I think would be a great stopping point. But I've caught a couple other gingerbread pieces that I may as well use. And one of those being these trees. And there's only three of them. So I'm going to kind of make a triangle. I'm going to put one down here, one kind of across, and again we have to follow the pattern, and then one at the top. And so to do the larger ornaments, I'm going to have to hang it up on the wall, so we're going to change position here. So now you can see part of my mess. So pardon my mess in my craft room. So I'm just gonna put glue on the top and put those in and kind of twist them around a little bit. So I'm alternating red and white. These ornaments are bigger than the ornaments that are in the clusters that I did previously. And to get to the top of this wreath, I have to grab my stool that I keep under my desk. and get out some more ornaments. You could skip this part, but I really like it to be nice and full and have a variety of sizes of, of ornaments. And that's why I did the three of the smaller ones and um, I didn't count how many red and, and white ones I did, but a bunch of those. So I think I've got about everything ready where I want them to be. Just put this last red one in, and here is our finished projects. Thanks for joining me. See you again soon.